Hello everybody and welcome back to today's video. Today we are going to be checking out how you can install vehicles into the V menu add-on menu. Um, so a lot of people have been asking this for like three weeks now and I was like, okay, okay, I'll finally do it. Um, so thank you to all the suggestions for me to do this. I'm going to expect that you have V menu already installed. I'm going to be installing this really cool uh, fire car here. Um, that was uh, on the GTA Police Mods website. I'll leave a link to it if you want to check it out um, as our example car for this video. You can add as many of the add-on cars you want to V-Menu. You can add Unlimited into the files, which is really cool. Um, so I'm going to go through how you can add that, how you get into it in-game as well. Um, please note that I have a bigger uh, V-Menu type permission video coming out. I'm still working on it, but I am. this is going to be the add-on vehicle version of it. Um, so let's get started. Uh, if you haven't had V-Menu installed, go watch our video on installing it. I'll also leave a link to that in the description. Um, but first, we're going to go ahead and download the car that I'm going to be using, uh, which is this really cool fire one. So I'm going to download this to the side while we go ahead and wait. Um, in the meantime, we're going to go into our resources folder. And I just want to show you where we're going to be working today. You're going to go into your V menu folder, config, and then where it says add-ons.json. And you're going to edit this with notepad or notepad++. Um, and pretty much what we're going to do is we're going to add them into this vehicle section here. And I'm going to show you exactly how to do that. But first, we're going to go and install the vehicle. So we're going to go back to our resources folder. And in here, you can see there's the data stream, all the files and everything, which is really cool. So I'm just going to go ahead and drag this into the resources folder and I'm going to rename it mainly because I don't want it, I just want it to be all one word so I'm just going to name it 2020 expedition we're going to go ahead and copy this go to our server data server.cfd file edit it with notepad plus plus add that car to our loading screen here there we go uh, make sure you spell ensure right or your car won't load properly if you want to learn how to install cars just like this go watch our tutorial on installing cars anyway we now have that car in here and there's going to be one thing that we're going to take a really really close look at um inside this file inside stream we need this this is the name we're gonna need uh, the reason why you need this name is this is actually the car's name when you spawn uh, through trainers or anything this is the name you're gonna be using so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna right click and click rename and just copy this name into uh, my clipboard um, and then we're gonna go back to the resources folder go down to our V menu folder config add-ons.json and edit it again with notepad plus plus and we're just gonna add this in the add-on vehicles uh, up here for the first vehicle name and that's just going to be the expedition fire that's all you have to do to add it it's that simple to add it into your trainer um and you can literally do this for anything so let's say you had a second one add a second one let's say you had a third one add a comma and then add another one etc keep going down as you go every single add-on vehicle you can put there if you have add-on peds same thing put them there if you had add-on weapons same thing put them there it's just getting the name of those files putting them in here while you go all right, so let's start the server. Let's hop in and see what we can see. All right, so we are in game here. Ignore the blinking. It's because I'm running vMenu with another weather sync program. Um, I'll fix that in a later video. But anyway, we're going to press M to open up the vMenu menu. And we're going to go into vehicle related options. Go to vehicle spawner add-on vehicles and you can see everything's locked in here except for the emergency one because the tag of the vehicle we added was emergency. We're going to go in here and you can see there we go. There's our car. Click it and it has spawned in successfully. So that's all you have to do to add these things. This is a really cool car too. I really recommend checking it out if you want more of like a realistic fire type thing. Um, but yeah, that's as easy as it is, is. You install the car, get the name, put it in the file, you're good to go. So hopefully this helped you figure it out. Um, lots of cool videos coming very soon regarding a lot of different things. Um, so stay tuned for that. Permissions eventually is coming um and all that so thank you so much for checking this out today hopefully this did help you if it did consider subscribing clicking the join button whatever you want to do and i'll see you in two days for the next video enjoy the rest of your day.